nobody didn't tell me about this. Like, and why is nobody talking about this? These are so good. If you have not purchased it, baby, just put it in the cart. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faye. And for today's video, I'm sharing with you guys my Sephora recommendations. It's that time of year again. The fall savings event is on Friday this Friday, October 27th. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I jumped on here and shared some of the products that I recommend that I absolutely love. I did this full face using all products from Sephora, which that will be up a little bit later this week before the savings event happens. So if you wanna see any of these products in action, stay tuned for that video coming very soon. But I have been testing and filming a lot of reviews for you guys lately. So I wanted to come on here and kind of give you guys a little bit of a recap and share the products that I actually recommend. So everything that I mentioned in today's video will of course be listed and linked for you down below for super easy shopping and yeah there's a lot of products to talk about so let's go ahead and get into it okay so makeup of course is going to probably be my biggest category no definitely going to be my biggest category so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the smaller category items out of the way first I will also have all the information about the savings event down below in the description as far as dates and tiers and when you can shop and percentage of your discount and all of that kind of stuff. So we don't have to waste too much time on that. I'll have all that information for you guys in the description. But let's go ahead and start off first and foremost with body care and baby. This right here, this Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia Bright, this whole little situation has had me in a chokehold. So I'm very much a vanilla girly, so any product that has vanilla, that's a little bit sweet, that's gourmand, or even has base notes of vanilla, more than likely I'm going to love. And this whole line, like I said, has had me in a chokehold since I purchased it. I've been obsessed with it. So I do have the whole line. I have the body wash. So this is the Bomb Dia Bright Clarifying AHA BHA Body Wash. So not only is this going to cleanse your skin, but it's also going to resurface. It's going, it's kind of like a whole skincare moment, but in a body wash. It smells incredible. And if you have been looking for something where you can like layer your scent so that you can smell good all day long, I would highly recommend this line. And then I also have the body scrub. This is the Bomb Dia Body Scrub. It has 10% AHA BHA resurfacing complex. So again, it's another product that not only is going to exfoliate the skin, but it has those skincare ingredients that are gonna really help to brighten, exfoliate, and kind of just give your skin a little something extra in the shower. And then when you get out of the shower, we have the body cream and we have the body mist. Listen, I'm telling you, this right here, this whole little situation fire if you love vanilla kind of a little bit more sweet smelling scents the body cream also has ahas and vitamin c and then the body mist this is the Sher sherry rosa she rosa she rosa <laughs> i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but the number 40. the notes for this are black amber plum and vanilla woods and listen i don't know how many times i can emphasize how good this smells, but it literally smells amazing. And then speaking of sweet gourmands, this. This is the Fenty Butter Drop uh, Body Cream, but this one is the limited edition scent. So I'm sure most of you guys remember last year, all the girls were going crazy for this and for good reason. I ended up purchasing two of them last year just to make sure that I would have enough to last me throughout the year because again, it was supposed to be limited edition, but they would be crazy to have not brought this back because the girls were selling it out. This will literally have you smelling like a dessert, a snack. Like it's giving cinnamon roll, gourmand like sweet gourmand vibes it smells amazing and it's perfect for like this time of year like the fall winter holiday season like it's giving all the cozy vibes it smells amazing and of course if you tried the fenty body cream you already know how luxurious these are so yeah i probably don't have to say too much about this just wanted to let you guys know that it is back in stock i've got a couple in my cart i recommend that you put a couple in yours because i guarantee if it 
hasn't already sold out, it's probably on its way to doing so because this one was definitely a viral fan favorite. So while we're on body care products, I wanted to quickly mention this product from 54 Thrones. This is their hand and body cream, I think. Oh, body butter. So this is essentially a shea butter. It says on the back that these are crafted from 100% unrefined pure African butters and oils. And you can definitely tell when you apply it to the skin. A very little bit of this goes a long way and it just melts into the skin and gives you the most intense hydration. I, like I said, barely hear very many people talk about these. They do have a set of three, which is what I purchased. So I'm able to keep like one in my purse, one in my office, like one in my bedroom for whenever I need to like add a little extra hydration to my hands, especially this time of year as it's starting to get colder. These also would make really great gifts because they're kind of nice and small. They would fit perfectly if you were making someone like a self-care basket or wanted to throw something in a stocking as a stocking stuffer. Or again, if you just wanted to purchase them for yourself, like I did you can get a cute little set of three and they're not super expensive okay so let's go ahead and get into a couple of fragrances I know I mentioned one already and this one that I'm gonna share with you guys is the one that I actually like to mix with that one from Sol de Janeiro and it is this one from clean reserve this actually came out I think towards the end of the year last year this particular scent it's in the scent sparkling sugar and it is just a very sweet smelling fragrance yeah, very, but not too sweet though. I feel like it complements the um, this scent very well. Again, these two were like my signature scent for the summertime. The notes on this, if you are interested, is warm and sweet gourmands, of course, black currant, cassis berries, peach nectar, and white musk. And I think the musk is actually what balances this fragrance so it's not overly sweet. But I did notice on the website that there's a cute little gift set that they have that I already have in my cart that comes with a one ounce of the fragrance and then also a travel size for a reasonable price. So I am going to be re-upping on this because because as you can see, mine is like down to here. It's gotten a lot of love, really, really love this. And again, if you get this one, you should get the travel size of this and pair them together. Just trust me, fire. And then the next fragrance that I wanna share with you guys was actually a gift. Andrea got this for me for my birthday and I have been obsessed with it, especially as we're going into the fall months. This is Burberry Goddess. I already have a love for my Burberry fragrances and this one I have recently added to my collection, like I said, since my birthday and I have been loving it. The packaging, stunning, but of course we're not surprised by that from Burberry. And the notes on this are warm and spicy, warm and sweet gourmands, vanilla infusion, vanilla caviar, and vanilla absolute. So obviously it's probably not a surprise that I would like this because again, I am a vanilla girly. But this is such a nice fragrance. It has that vanilla kind of sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. And I feel like this is a fragrance that would wear nicely both day and night. It really just smells amazing and it wears nicely on the skin throughout the day as well. If you happen to shop the savings event in store, I would definitely recommend smelling this. But honestly, I would feel pretty confident gifting this to someone or even telling you that you could blind buy it. I don't feel like there would be very many people that wouldn't like this fragrance. So yeah, that says a lot, highly recommend. And then the last fragrance that I have to share with you guys is this one from YSL. This is YSL Libre. And this is one that I think I purchased last year during the savings event, if I'm not mistaken. This one is a floral fragrance, but it is a warm floral. So the notes on this are Lavender Essence, Orange Blossom, and Orchid Accord. So this one is a little bit different for me. It doesn't have that vanilla. It doesn't have that sweetness to it, but it is still a warm fragrance. I think this one is perfect for the fall time. I feel like this is a fragrance that is definitely giving like grown woman in. she's got her stuff together it's giving date night it's just giving it's just giving especially for the fall time like I said I feel like this is something that I would pull out personally during this time of year and I have pulled out personally during this time of year so yeah if you're anything like me and you like to save a couple coin which don't we all I would highly recommend if you have fragrances that have been on your list to purchase them during the savings event. Honestly, I think all of my high-end fragrances, for the most part, I have only purchased when they have been discounted or on a sale because baby, why would I spend full price 
when I can get it for cheaper. <laughs> so yes, again, like I said, any of those high ticket items, this is the time to pick them up. I only have one product to share with you guys for hair. It is Silk Press Season. I do have my hair in a sew-in right now, obviously, but as it gets colder, this is the time when I typically will kind of let my hair breathe, like chill on the protective styles and kind of just let my hair live its life. And I wanted to share this product with you guys from Color Wow. I mentioned this to you guys last year, I believe, during one of the savings events and I purchased the, I think I hauled it for you guys, and I purchased the travel size. I have since obviously finished the travel size and graduated to the large, like the full size product because I love this that much. This is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray, and it says on here that it magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers, and I completely agree. I love using this both when I have sew-ins as well as when I have just my hair completely out and I'm wearing it in a silk press or, you know, blown out, because this does a great job of just keeping my hair from reverting back to its natural texture when I'm wearing it pressed out. This is such a great product, so again, if you are somebody that is preparing to press your hair out and you've been looking for something to kind of control frizz and just keep your hair from reverting back then like I said I would recommend this one and then for skincare I've been trying out a lot of skincare products and there are a lot of things that I like but not necessarily a lot of things that I love that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm still kind of trying and testing them out but one product that I have absolutely been loving is this one I have shared this with you guys on YouTube shorts I've shared it with you guys in my vlogs this is such a great SPF this is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid, SPF 50. I love this number one because it's a moisturizer and SPF in one, so it cuts down on me having to have two separate products, one to moisturize and one to actually protect my skin. It wears beautifully under makeup. It's a very lightweight um, formula, so it's not going to weigh my skin down. It doesn't make me oily throughout the day and it doesn't leave like a weird residue on the face. Overall, this is just a really great both moisturizer and SPF. I also love that it has SPF 50. I know a lot of like skincare products that have SPF, they normally are like 15, 20, 30 in that range. So I love that this one has a higher amount of SPF because I do use a lot of active ingredients in my skincare. So I need all of the protection from the sun as possible. This is a product that also comes in like a travel size or like deluxe size. And I'm sure there are probably gonna be some cute little sets that you can purchase as well. So if you've been looking for a really good SPF or just a really good hydrating moisturizer, this one is a must. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into the makeup. I have a lot of things to share with you guys. I did try my best to really only pull out things that either launched this year or like towards the end of last year coming into this year and not things that I have shared in several of my other previous recommendations videos. So I will link my other um, Sephora recommendations videos for you guys down below if you want to check those out. But I really try to focus on either new items, items that I have recently reviewed for you guys lately that I want to kind of share an update on, um, or just items that I just have purchased and repurchased and repurchased and they're just top tier, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it and I'm just gonna go in the order that I would typically do my makeup, starting out with primers. If you've been watching my videos, these primers will not surprise you at all. These two. This is the Milk Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And then this one is the Cali Rae So Blown Blurring Primer. These are the dream team, okay? If you have oily skin, if you have texture, if you have large pores, like you guys can see my face, it's giving smooth, just like it's giving, okay? The skin is skinning. And these are my go-to base products. I love this one because it's gonna do a great job of controlling oil. This is the one that I typically will lay down first because like I said, it's gonna control oil. It's gonna smooth a little bit, not a ton, but it's just a great, like foundation for your base if you are somebody that has combination or oily skin and you need a little bit of extra oil control this right here is the one then after you apply that primer if you need a little extra blurring on certain areas or something that's going to fill in fine lines i would recommend this one to you i like to focus this on like my t-zone specifically on my cheek area because i do have large pores there i'll bring it down into my smile lines and also under my eyes because i do have you know lines under my eyes which i feel like most of us do <laughs> so i will bring it literally anywhere where i have lines or where i have large pores and this just does 
a beautiful job of blurring out my face. So again, this right here, the dream team. Then if you wanna take it a step further, I would recommend this product from Danessa Myricks. I don't know how many times I can mention this to you. If you've been watching my videos and you've heard me mention this, it, this is probably like the 10th plus time that you've heard me talk about this. If you have not purchased it, baby, just put it in the cart. This is my third one, okay? I have the translucent one and then I also have the tinted one. If you're my foundation twin, I have the tinted one in the shade number seven and I used it today on my face and I already am starting to hit pan on it. So I'm probably gonna need to re-up pretty soon, but this is so good. The ingredients in this product do such a great job of blurring of, it's basically a cream product that settles or that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. It basically is a cream that settles to a powder. And this right here, I can wear this on its own. I can wear it underneath other foundation products. Like I said, I do have a translucent shade as well. I can mix it in with other products. Lately, I have been loving using it with this, which is another product that I wanna recommend to you guys. These two right here, if you have oily skin, especially now as we're kind of getting into like the cooler months, if you want something that is gonna give you a skin-like look to your face, these two, Highly recommend. I have a full review on my channel showing you the full application, a wear test where I wore it for like seven or eight hours so that you guys can see how this wears on the face. A beautiful match made in heaven. But again, if you don't necessarily wanna pick up the skin tint, definitely pick up this if you have oily skin. This is going to change your life, okay? Once you try this out, you will not be able to go back. I don't know what she has in here, but she did what needed to be done. So highly recommend this, recommend this as well. I have been getting more into skin tints, especially as we're coming out of the summer. Um, and then too, just in general, I've been noticing as I'm getting older and then also too, as I'm trying out new skincare products and I'm kind of learning more about skincare before makeup application, I've been learning that I am still very much oily, but I don't need as many like mattifying products on top of mattifying, on top of mattifying, on top of mattifying. I've kind of been mixing in some mattifying, some hydrating, like a nice balance between the two and as far as ingredients in my makeup products. So this is one that is a little bit more on the skin-like hydrating side, it's not super matte, but when paired with this, like I said, match made in heaven, it also gives decent coverage. Again, like I said, I have mine in the shade number 11. So while we're on foundations, I have three more that I wanna share with you guys. The first one is this one from One Size. If you are looking for full coverage, matte, long lasting, uh, like all of the above things that you're looking for for oily skin, but also on top of that, something that is going to give you a flawless base, this is the one. I have mine in the shade Dark One Neutral. It is slightly just a tinge too dark for me. So I do tend to mix in a um, like a little bit of a color mixing pigment, like a white color mixing pigment just to lighten it up a little bit. But this is such a great, um, it's actually a BB cream, a beauty blur balm cream. So it's not technically a foundation, but it gives really great coverage. Again, like I said, it's gonna give you a flawless complexion. I believe I've used this a couple times on my channel as well, but I don't think I've done a full review. So if that's something that you're interested in, just let me know down below in the comments. But again, if you're looking for long wearing, oil controlling, absolutely flawless base, then I would recommend this to you. On the other hand, if you're looking for something that's gonna be semi long wearing, and again, I'm speaking to my oily skin girls or like combo skin girls, cause that's the skin I have, so that's what I'm speaking to. If you're looking for something that's going to be semi long wearing, you are probably gonna get oily throughout the day, but it's not gonna break up or separate on the face and you'll be able to touch up and still keep moving with it, but it's gonna give you just like flawless skin, like it's gonna look like your skin. I would recommend this. This is the Fenty Eavesdrop um, Skin Tint Stick. This actually came out this year. I saw a couple of reviews on it and a couple of people that kind of were saying they preferred the original skin tint to the foundation stick or the skin tint stick. I actually prefer the stick 
to the skin tint. Um, honestly, I'm sure they're both pre pretty similar. But for me personally, I think the main reason that I like this is because since it is a stick, it's very easy for me to just pop it on the face, blend it out, and go. It gives decent coverage. I would say this is like medium to buildable coverage. I do have a full review on this as well. So if you want more information, really most of the stuff that I'm sharing with you guys, I have done a full review or I have been sharing on my channel this year. So if you want more information, you can definitely check that out. But this just looks beautiful on the skin I would say out of all of these this is gonna give you the most skin like look to your face but it's also gonna have like a decent wearability if that makes sense so another one just kind of depending on what your vibe is how full coverage or like you know what you're looking for I wanted to give you guys some options and just different items that I have been using throughout the year depending on like what I'm feeling that day so the last foundation I want to share with you guys is this one from house labs absolutely love this product so this foundation actually has a lot of really great skincare ingredients in it but on top of that this basically what i said about this um the skin tint stick this foundation is going to give you that as far as looking skin like and just laying on the skin really nicely but on top of that it's also going to be long wearing so this is a product that i would say between the two of those this one is going to last you a little bit longer especially if you have oily skin or combination skin but again as you start to get oily throughout the day this is just going to wear really beautifully on the skin and on top of that, if you do need to touch up throughout the day, you're not gonna be looking cakey. You're gonna be able to, you know, re-mattify your skin if you need to, and it's gonna continue to look flawless throughout the day. So yeah, lots of really great complexion products that either launched this year or last year that I was able to pick up and try out for you guys. I will try to link the reviews for you guys down below, but if for some reason I forget, I do have a playlist on my channel of Tested on Oily Skin. That's the name of the playlist where I have all of the products where I've done reviews. So you can definitely check that out if you want more information about any of these if you've been on the fence But let's keep it moving the last complexion product that I have to share with you guys is a concealer and it is again from Haas Labs So this actually launched this year. It came out a couple of months ago I believe the makeup by Mario one also launched. I did not pick that one up It's on my list in my cart currently, but I did go ahead and pick this one up to try out for you guys again I have a review on it. I'm not gonna keep saying that but yeah just just check out the playlist but I do really like this one I have it underneath my eyes right now I like that this does a really great job of providing coverage but it doesn't crease and it just wears really nicely on the face throughout the day that's kind of the theme I feel like with all of my complexion products I want something that's gonna give me coverage but also it's still gonna look skin like and that's gonna wear nicely throughout the day even if I do get oily I still want to be able to like touch up and it's still gonna look good it's not gonna be breaking up on my face and all of that throughout the day and that is the case with this concealer I have mine in the shade 31 medium neutral and again like I said have it on the face today and the skin is doing what needs to be done okay period okay so I am burning up in this room so I had to put my fan on hopefully you aren't able to hear it but if you can I'm sorry but your girl is hot so let's keep moving let's see we did foundation oh I wanted to mention these really quickly too these concealers from NARS I know that these aren't new but I literally use these every single time that I do my makeup, like every single time. These are such great multi-purpose concealers, whether I'm using them to spot conceal, to color correct, to carve out my brows. There's so many different ways that you can use these and they're just really great products. NARS does complexion, like they're A1 when it comes to complexion. So I'm sure I've mentioned these to you guys before, but I just wanted to share them with you again because these are a product I have noticed I reach for every single time that I do my makeup. And I have the shade Caramel for my um, complexion shade and then Sugar.org for my highlight shade. So again, I'll link these for you guys down below. Okay, so let's talk about powder foundations. I only have two to share with you guys and it is these two. I have this one from Fenty, which is the Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I have this one in the shade 345 and you guys can see how well loved this foundation powder is. Honestly, nine times out of 10, this has been the powder that I have been reaching for this year. I absolutely love this one. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about it because I know it's not a newer product, but sometimes you just have like those holy grail products that when you need something that you know is going to do what needs to be done, 
that's the one that you're gonna pick up and this is that for me I really love this because it kind of has buildable coverage so this does a great job of just setting the face but then also if I have areas that I want a little bit more extra coverage because I do have like dark spots and you know things that I want to cover up on the skin I can build this up and it doesn't look cakey and overall it's just a really great foundation powder but a newer one that I picked up this year which it didn't launch this year but I picked it up this year is this one from one size this is the turn up the base foundation powder I have mine in the shade medium dark six so this year I've definitely purchased more products from one size because I have been wanting to try out more things from the brand one thing that I will mention is that I do kind of feel like this is a brand that maybe leans a little bit more towards like makeup products that are going to be full coverage long wearing um, that are going to help you control oil all of that kind of stuff i feel like this is that brand so obviously being a girl that loves a good full coverage that of course wants my makeup to last you know as long as possible and that is very oily it is a brand that definitely kind of so far from the products that i've tried meets what I needed to meet. So I decided to pick up the foundation powder this year because this is like, I think one of their top sellers. It may even be um, one of the Allure Best of Beauty products. So I definitely wanted to try it out and it has not disappointed. This one compared to the Fenty is gonna be a little bit more full coverage. Definitely buildable coverage, but just upon initial application, it's gonna be a little bit more full coverage than Fenty. But I really like this one for those days when I want that extra coverage, when I wanna look extra flawless, and also when I know I'm gonna be out for an extended period of time, or if I'm gonna be out somewhere where it's gonna be hot, or I'm gonna be sweating, um, or if I'm just gonna be out for a long day, and I don't want to have to worry too much about touching up this is the one so highly recommend and then while I'm on one size I wanted to go ahead and jump into my setting powders I have three to share with you so the first one is this one this is the ultimate setting powder and I have mine in the shade translucent this year they did come out with a couple of new shades so there's like a yellow tone shade they came out with a pink because I know the pink setting powders has been like the viral trending thing this year and then of course they have translucent and then they have like a dark deep shade and they do sell these in like the travel size version so of course I have the big one that I keep at my desk for every day getting ready and then I have a travel size one for when I'm traveling but if you are somebody that wants to try this out and you don't want to pick up the full size they do have smaller versions that you can try out as well this right here if you want something Again, kind of how I was saying for the powder foundation that you know is gonna have you locked and loaded all day long, this is what I would reach for. This powder had me in a chokehold, honestly, for the majority of the year because it just applies to the skin beautifully, it blurs, and it just keeps your face looking good all day long. So it does come with a sifter. I took the sifter out of mine because I'm just not into it. <laughs> but this is what the, um, let me see if I can show y'all. This is what the powder looks like. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see with my lighting, um, but even though it is a translucent shade, it kind of has like a beige kind of tone to it, um, which I like, but it's also not going to change the actual color it's going to brighten obviously slightly because it is a translucent powder but it doesn't like change the color of the products that i already have down on my face if that makes sense so i like that about this as well and then recently i pulled this back out again it's a product that isn't new but it kind of got pushed to the back of my drawer and i pulled it out recently because this product is new this is the easy bake and snatch um brightening powder from huda beauty and i recently tried this out for you guys because it launched i think probably within the last month or so i have mine in the shade blondie and so i pulled this out and honestly i just pulled out a lot of my huda beauty products that i have in my collection and re-fell back in love with them because they're just good like there's not really anything else to say the products that i have at least i don't have a ton from her brand but the stuff that i have which is mostly complexion products it's just good so i pulled this back out i have this one in the shade banana bread but i have several of these i have this one i have um one that is the sh next shade darker than this one i think it's the shade blondie and then i also picked up i think it's cherry blossom the pink toned one as well these are really really great 
powders. So again, it kind of just depends on what your preference is. Both of these are really amazing. And if you're in the market for a setting powder, those would be the two that I would recommend. This one though, if you're looking for a highlighting powder, I would recommend this. Like I said, this actually just launched like about a month or so ago. And for me personally, I am someone like after I've finished up all of my makeup, sometimes there are areas that need a little bit more brightening, a little bit more smoothing, specifically like under my eyes and to clean up my contour, that is what I like to use this powder for. So again, if you're looking for a setting powder, I would recommend these. If you're looking for a brightening or lifting or, you know, highlighting powder, then I would recommend this. Okay, so let's keep it moving. I don't have a ton more to share with you guys, so hopefully we'll be able to get through it quickly. The next couple of things that I wanna share are bronzer, blush, and highlight, and I only have one item from each category. First up is bronzer. This one is from the brand LYS. This is a cream bronzer stick, and I have mine in the shade Courage. First of all, the shade range on this, Chef's Kiss. She literally did such a great job with the shade range. There is something for everybody from the lightest of tones to the deepest of tones. She did a great job, like I said, on the shade range. I do have this on my face today and I set it with the powder version from LYS. And overall, it's just a great cream product, especially again, if you have combo or oily skin. It's great for all skin types. But specifically, if you have combo or oily skin, the reason I really like this is because it just blends into the face. Like it literally looks like skin, which you will be able to see in action when I post this tutorial. But I just really love how beautifully this blends into the face and it doesn't get oily throughout the day. That's really the main thing with this because it can kind of be hit or miss with cream products when you have combo or oily skin. But I really love that this just blends nicely into all my other products. It sets really nicely on the face and it it doesn't you know get oily throughout the day so that's that on that next up are these blushes I think these came out this year if not this year they came out towards the end of last year but these are the Too Faced cloud crush blurring blushes first of all get into the packaging absolutely stunning as always from Too Faced. I have two shades. I have the shade Velvet Crush, which I actually purchased myself. And then I recently got this shade in PR, which is Golden Hour. These are such nice blushes. Um, I ha have this one right here on my face today. And then this one is more of like a bubblegum pinky kind of color. And this one is more of like a mauve tone shade. But I have been reaching for these like crazy. I only have two, but I just absolutely love them. They have like a slight scent to them, kind of like a spicy, like a cinnamon type scent, which I'm not mad at, especially this time of year. Like I kind of just, I like smelling it when I'm getting ready. Like it's just a vibe. <laughs> but yeah, these are really nice blushes. They blend on the face really nicely. They build up on the face really nicely. They're pigmented, but not too much. So you can definitely build them up to, you know, the amount that you like. But these I have just been loving lately for blush. And then also from Too Faced, I have these highlighters. They actually sent these to me in PR as well. And I believe that these are new because I just got these probably within the last two to three months. Um, these are the Moon Crush highlighters. This is what they look like. I have them on my face today mixed together. And these are just absolutely stunning highlighters. So this one is Shooting Star. And then this one is Summer Moon. So you can kind of see just how beautiful these are and you can also see why I mixed the two because this one is kind of like a, a champagne gold shade but it leans a little bit more on the silver side and then this one is more of like a rosy kind of golden shade so the two of them mixed together I think for my complexion they just give a really nice highlight to the face but these are really soft really beautiful really blendable 
um, highlighters and yeah just wanted to mention them I haven't really seen a ton of people talking about them again I think they are new but I have been enjoying them all right so next up is eyeshadow palettes there's really only two eyeshadow palettes that I have really been reaching for I don't know about you guys but I just really haven't been into just buying tons of eyeshadow palettes I have been leaning very much into the soft glam everyday makeup vibes and I just haven't had a need for a ton of eyeshadow palettes because in all honesty how many warm matte eyeshadow palettes does one person need like after a while all the shades kind of are the same so yeah these two eyeshadow palettes came out I believe either last year towards the end of last year I think both of them actually came out last year um, but I've been loving them and it is these two right here. I have the Patrick Ta one on my eyes today. This is his first one. This is the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Since the launch of this one, he's also come out with a more rose toned one. And then more recently, he's come out with all mattes, which I currently have in the cart, okay? I've been hearing a lot of people saying if you have this one, you don't need the matte one. But I've also been hearing people say that although they are similar, this formula is a little bit more, um, Kind of soft and like easier to blend whereas this one it has like a little bit more of a drier formula which i could definitely see that so yeah i will be picking it up even though i probably don't need it but you know i don't really need any of this <laughs> if we're being honest but this is what the um this eyeshadow palette looks like it comes with two cream shades a row of mattes and then a row of shimmers on the top and I mean, if this doesn't scream my vibe, then I don't know what does because I am all about just the everyday warm tone, soft glam, like even this eyeshadow look, like I said, I used this palette to create and I could just do this every day and or not have the shimmer on the eye and just give very like just natural everyday beat. That's my vibe. But I also really like this one as well. So this one is all matte shades, as you can see. Ooh, as you can see. And I use a little bit of this one as well today. So I use these two shades to do my like smoky wing situation that I have. And I just think this is a good all around palette. Does it have shimmers in it? No. But I think on average, like if I have a palette that does have shimmer that is missing something, this is a great complimentary palette because as you guys saw in this one, there's no black. Um, and just like some of the shades that are in here are not in this one. But these two together, I feel like I have everything that I need. And honestly, I feel like when I purchase the matte of this, there won't really be very many more eyeshadow palettes that I will need because again, I'll have all the mattes because that palette actually has a row of cool tone mattes and a row of um, warm tone mattes. So it's just going to complete everything that I feel like I'll need when it comes to eyeshadows. But yes, these two right here, the formulas, the blendability, the everyday use, like if you're gonna spend this kind of money on an eyeshadow palette, these will be the brands that I would recommend because every single time that I do eyeshadow, these are the palettes that I reach for. So I do feel that I'm very much getting my money's worth out of them. And then of course, if I can get a little money off, save a little coin, I most definitely am going to do so. So if you have been on the fence about either, you know, palettes from either of these brands, this will be the time to pick them up. All right, y'all. So I don't know what the edit is going to be on this video. I feel like I have been sitting here forever. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. I have two categories left to share with you guys, and those are lips and setting sprays. I feel like this is gonna be very fast to get through because I don't have a ton to share in these categories. So yeah, I'm reaching over for one more thing to go anyway let's just get into it so let's start with lips the first thing I want to share is this um, lip pencil from makeup forever you guys actually recommended this to me a couple I think maybe towards the beginning of the year I was telling you that I was trying to find like the perfect um, well not the perfect but I just wanted to try out more brown lip liners because I hadn't found one that I absolutely loved and you guys recommended this one this is the um, Limitless Brown, 
lip liner from Makeup Forever. And I had heard a lot of people talking about it. I've seen a lot of people using it, but I had never purchased it. And then when I asked for those recommendations, so many of you guys mentioned this one. So I picked it up and I have been loving. I have it on my lips right now. And since I do mostly wear like nude lip combos, I find that this actually pairs really nicely with that because I'm able to kind of tone it down with whatever nude lip I'm putting on top of it. So if you've been looking for a really good uh, brown lip liner, I would recommend this and shout out to you guys for recommending it to me. Next up for lip products, I wanted to share these with you. These are from NARS. Um, this is another product that I picked up. I believe I got one of them this year and one of them towards the end of the year last year. And I've just really been loving these. I have this one on my lips today, this like peachy one, which is in the shade Firebird. And then um, the No Angel shade is more, I guess I can swatch them for you guys. So this is, oh my gosh, these are just so good. So that's No Angel. It's kind of like a brownish, a brown mauve, I would say. Perfect for fall. And then this one next to it is Firebird, which is more of like a peachy kind of, mm, would I say peachy brown? Yeah, peachy brown shade. And I'll put a little bit more on because I need to touch up my lip anyway from all this talking, but yeah, so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. These are the Power Matte Lipsticks from NARS and they are just so smooth on the lips. Even though they are matte, they're a very comfortable matte and they wear really nicely on the lips. So yeah, definitely wanted to mention those because I believe these actually launched this year. I can't remember. I know I said I think I bought one last year. But within the last year, I think is when these launched and I don't, again, this is another product I don't feel like I saw a lot of people talk about. And honestly, I know there are so many products launching and there's so many brands, so it's hard to keep up with everything, but I feel like this was one that kind of got looked over and these are actually really good. So I wanted to mention that. And while I'm talking about products that I feel like have gotten looked over or nobody talks about, this right here, this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss. Baby, why y'all didn't tell me about this? Like, and why is nobody talking about this? These are so good. This is, it's actually a line smoothing, lip plumping line smoothing gloss. I got this in a BoxyCharm and I kind of just had it to the side. And then one day I was looking for um, something to just throw in my bag to like hydrate my lips throughout the day. And I just grabbed this and I have not been able to put it down. I have two more of these in my cart currently. And I also have the lip mask in my cart for the sale because these are so good. They're super hydrating. I do show you guys how this looks on my lips in the tutorial of this look because I applied it before I started doing my makeup. So again, stay tuned for that if you wanna see. But these are just amazing. Like I said, super hydrating, very glossy. You can wear them on their own. They do come in different colors too. This is like a clear, but they come in different colors. So if you want one with a little bit of a tint, they do have other shades. But it's super glossy, super hydrating, not sticky, super smooth. Like all the things, all the positive things that this could be, it is. So, and it's also not super expensive. So. This is one, if you're just like a lip gloss girly or you know, just hydrate your lips girly, like not a whole lot of makeup, or if, even if you're into makeup, but you just want something on the days when you're not wearing makeup to just keep your lips hydrated, highly recommend along with this one. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. And I actually like this so much that when I bought it originally, I had only had it for like a week or so and I lost it and I went back to Sephora and I bought another one. That's how much I like this. Now, if I had to choose between the two of these, currently I'm on this one. I just, I can't put this down. I just absolutely love, but I like this one as well. It's gonna do the same thing as far as hydrating the lips, giving you like, you know, kind of like that glossy um, look to the lips, but this is just on a whole nother level. So I wanted to mention both of them because I think this one might be a little less expensive and it does also come in um, a couple of different shades, but I know that this one is also a lot more popular so it might sell out quicker. Just Laneige the brand may sell out quicker. So if that happens to be the case, then I would recommend this one. 
But honestly, between the two of these, I would recommend this one. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about setting sprays. First up is this one from Too Faced. This is not a new setting spray, but I feel like this is one that kind of falls in that category, like the Fenty powder, where it's not new, but it's one of those like holy grail products that I pulled out recently and I was like, oh, I like you. So this is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing um, Setting Spray, Primer and Setting Spray. So you can actually use this before and after makeup. So basically when I use this is after I have applied all of my powders and I kind of want something that is gonna melt everything together because being someone that has oily skin, I do go in with a lot of powders. Even, especially when I'm using creams, I'm going in, I'm setting under my eyes, I'm setting my T-zone, I'm setting if I use cream on my cheeks for bronzer or a cream blush, I'm setting that, I'm setting I'm setting everything. So sometimes all of those powders layered on top of each other, I just want something that is going to melt everything together and bring the skin back to life. And that is what this does. So I've been loving this. Like I said, I kind of pulled it back out recently and have been using it again because I wanted something specifically for that purpose, not to set and lock my makeup in, but just to melt everything together. And this has been getting it done for me. So wanted to mention that. And then last but not least, definitely, but not least, is this from One Size. This has been taking the beauty community by storm. I saw a couple of weeks ago that Beyonce's makeup artist used this on her for the Renaissance tour. What more endorsement or convincing do you need to purchase this, okay, period. This is such a great setting spray. I know it has very strong claims, such as like being just completely waterproof and you can go swimming in it and all of that. Girl, I haven't tested all of that, but I can say being someone that is super oily, when I know that I'm going to be out for a long day, if it's raining outside, if it's hot outside, if I need something that is just going to lock the face down, this is what I'm using. It never fails me. It applies to the face kind of like a hairspray, as you can see. Yeah, like I said, it just works, okay? All the things that the girlies are saying about it are very much true. I would highly, highly recommend. This is gonna be the product that you spray as like the last thing on your face because once you spray it on, your face is on, okay? Locked and loaded, good to go. So yes, I would highly recommend this. This is another product that does come in like the small travel size versions. I started with the travel size and here we are, so yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all, so those are all of my recommendations for the Sephora Fall Savings event. Let me know down below in the comments if there is anything that you recommend because I'm still very much building my cart. I don't need to be, I need to be narrowing it down because as of right now, it's over $1,000, which is ridiculous. But let me know down below if there's anything else that I should add that I you know, may not have in there right now. I'm always checking the comments for you guys' recommendations because again, like with this lip liner, you guys are always putting me on. So let me know down below in the comments if there's anything I should make sure that I add. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Thank you.